Hello everybody and welcome to 2024 and the first video of the year. Now I've had a little bit of a break, not intentionally, but the middle of November last year I knew I had a lot of work coming up and I knew obviously with Christmas coming up and everything I thought I'd pre-load a few videos onto my channel so I had uh, so I didn't have a break in my uh, films going up so what I did was I put the November the 30th one that went up just before Christmas was the last one I filmed um, and that took me up just just before Christmas I think and then the plan was to make some more just after Christmas um, but then I got ill over Christmas so I didn't manage to get them up and I think I've missed two uploads um, since then so that's where those two have gone so the reason I'm not I've not been um, out shooting is because I did get ill over Christmas and I went out the other day to make a video and oh my god it was freezing cold and it just the cold and obviously being ill and still recovering it just took it out of me and I couldn't it, I, I walked down to um, Ems where every mire uh, down to the barn and just by the time I got down there I was exhausted and I had to come back home so I didn't make a video um, so that's why this video I'm putting this video up now just to uh, fill the gap and next week we hopefully should be back to regular scheduled programming so what is this video about so it's about Canon uh, Canon professional services to be exact now for anybody that follows my channel will know that this 5D Mark IV took a little bit of a tumble uh, last year, I believe it was, um, and it damaged a few of the components on it. So the sh the, the shutter dial uh, didn't work properly. It was it was inconsistent. It would jump up and down numbers randomly when you turned it, and also the memory card holder, the memory card slot, uh, would just say no card in the slot, and it wouldn't read cards. So I had to send it off to Canon to get repaired and that's what this video is about. So I just wanted to talk you through what that process was like for me and how I felt the service was. Now my original correspondence was telephone so I phoned them up and I had a conversation with someone who I explained all the problems with the camera to and they then emailed me with the details and said that basically this is what I needed to do to get fixed. So they emailed me and I noticed on the email that they'd put shutter button and not shutter dial. Now the shutter button and the shutter dial, two different things, and that wasn't the problem. So I did email them back and just said, hey, I noticed it on the uh, on the email that you've sent on the repair job, it said shutter button, and that's not the thing that's wrong, it's the shutter dial. But I didn't get no response back from that email, so I didn't know whether what the protocol was at that point, whether I just raised a new uh, job or whether I just sent it off anyway and just hoped that they would fix it. So that's what I did, I sent it off anyway. So I put a note in the box and just said the exact problems that was wrong, even though it stated on the repair job that it was the button, it was actually the dial. So then a few days had passed and I'd got an email from them stating the repair, estimated repair cost, which was 440 odd, 444 pound I think it was. Um, and in that repair was the shutter dial and I think some probably some electronics underneath it, the CF card slot and also the mirror box assembly, which I hadn't flagged up at this time of sending it off that the mirror box assembly needed changing or anything. And they'd picked that up as an issue and obviously put that on the job to be repaired. So I'd said go ahead with the repair and they repaired everything. And it took about, I would say about a week before I got it back again. So I got the, well, I got the bill, paid the bill, and then I got the, the, got the camera back within a few days of paying the bill. All great. But then when I took it out of the box and had a look at it, two things had changed, which was a bit strange because they'd replaced the mirror box assembly, but they hadn't fixed the SD card slot. So they fixed the CF card slot, but not the SD card slot. So I don't understand why they would have picked up the mirror box assembly as a, as something that need repair in, but not picked up the SD card slot, which is the thing I sent it in for to be repaired. And then the other thing I noticed was the set button on the, in within the main dial is now on sideways and it's really hard to push down. So any to get any response from it, you gotta really push it in to get a response from it. So whether it's been put on the wrong way and that has an effect of how it's pushed in, I don't know, but that's not right. So. I didn't notice that until, because as I said, I've been ill, so I'm not really, I took the camera out of the box, but that was about it, just to make sure it was my camera. 
um, and then I just put it to one side and I haven't been out shooting the whole of December and it wasn't until yesterday that I actually had a proper look at it and found out these problems were obviously you get I think it's seven to ten days to flag up any issues so it was too late by then. It still needs the SD card slot fixing because it is an absolute pain to use CF cards. And I've not had a great experience with CF cards. They tend to stop working on my computer. They do, the computer doesn't read them. So I have to then transfer the images direct from camera into the computer, which is a pain. And I've, had, I've, I've bought three in the time that I've used this camera. One of them completely stopped working altogether. One of them doesn't read in the camera. And I've just had to buy a brand new one now just, just to, so I've got something that I know is gonna keep me going. So SD cards, I don't generally get a problem with and they're cheap to buy. And if you go out and you forget your card, you can just pop in the shop and pick one up for next to nothing. So I would like the SD card slot up and running again. And plus when I do actual paid for jobs, it's good to have a backup of everything that I do. But obviously only having the one slot now, I haven't got that uh, backup. So I was a little bit disappointed, really, if I'm perfectly honest, as to the whole overall service of the Canon Professional Services, even though it's supposed to be professional, it didn't really come across like that. When you think about it, I emailed them. They didn't respond to my email when I told them that there was a problem. They put the button back on sideways. So I'm guessing that button comes out when they take the camera apart. But they put it back on sideways and it's very stiff now. So it's not, not the way it was when it first went in. And obviously they didn't fix the actual mirror um, the SD slot, they fixed the mirror box assembly, which I didn't ask for and completely ignored the fact that I'd asked them to fix the SD card slot. So yeah, it is, it is a bit disappointing when that sort of stuff happens. I will be sending my camera back to Canon at some point. I've got a few jobs coming up that I need the camera for, so I won't be sending it back just yet, but I will be sending it back for the SD card slot and that set button being the wrong way. And I think once those two things are sorted, the camera's pretty much good to go again. So I will be sending it back. I'll keep you updated on uh, how that goes when I send it back. So it will be a, probably another couple hundred quid to fix and also a couple of weeks wait, if not more, for that to be returned. So I'll be back to the 6D again. So there is a video. I am going to be doing a video about my 6D experience with my Mark IV um, and the 6D compared. So keep an eye out for that video. And uh, yeah, it just leaves me to say thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.